Welcome to a demo of Hansel Onboard, a feature discovery and adoption manager. Before we begin, let's define a nudge. A nudge, in both the digital and physical world, elevates one choice over another, while still giving users and consumers the freedom to choose. When it comes to feature adoption, Hansel Onboard elevates and highlights features that product and growth teams want to showcase to users. Now that you know what a nudge is, let's start with the demo. This is a fictional online retailer called Gretel. Gretel is facing both significant revenue losses and higher costs due to product returns. In order to address the issue, the product team hypothesized that incorrect clothing sizes were the cause of the returns, so they revamped the sizing feature and waited for the funnel to improve. Unfortunately, it did not. Users were not aware of the new feature, didn't notice it, and of course, didn't use it. So let's see how Hansel helped the product team drive feature discovery. The product owner starts by creating an interaction map. She enters the name and continues. Hansel captures all the analytics events in your app automatically and lists them as goals here. You can select a goal that you're trying to optimize. In this case, we want to reduce returns. This lands us on a clean slate. It allows you to create full-blown user journeys, but for now, we'll look at a simpler example. We create a nudge by clicking this plus icon, which opens Hansel's catalog of nudges. There are nudges for every part of the funnel optimization. Cross promotions, announcements, alerts, feature adoption, with more nudges added every two weeks into the catalog. For the purpose of this example, let's select a tooltip display nudge. Enter the nudge name. We're presented with an interface to pair our phone with a Hansel dashboard. We pair our phone, and the phone screen is mirrored on the Hansel dashboard. This makes it very simple for us to drop the tooltip on any element on the screen we choose to. Because we need to bring users' attention to the sizing feature, we'll anchor the nudge around that. Let's fill it with a cool color that matches our theme. Next up, let's reduce the size of this nudge. I'll make it 70% of the screen width. Now, we'll remove the backdrop to ensure users are not blocked from performing any action. Let's also make the text more legible. And that's it, we've customized the nudge. Let's hit continue and get to the next step. Now that we have our nudge ready, it's time to think about how and when to show it. In other words, what kind of user context would make the most sense to show this nudge? Our product manager hypothesizes that the best time would be when users view this product. So we can choose an event called Product Viewed to trigger the nudge. We can also customize the life cycle of the nudge, how often it is shown, the entry, exit, and dismiss conditions, the frequency of occurrence, and so on. With that, we're done. Activate the nudge and let's see the nudges in action on the actual device. I'll start the app and navigate to the product page. Boom, there you go. In just a few minutes, we've created, customized, and deployed a nudge that will draw attention to the new feature and boost feature adoption. We've sidestepped any need for development, testing, or release cycles from the process. Better yet, our product manager can update and deploy a new nudge whenever she wants. This is just a glimpse of Hansel's capabilities. With Hansel Optimize, our user drop-off management platform, product teams can leverage our entire catalog of display nudges, create personalized user journeys, segment users with no code, A-B test nudge variants, and use ramp rollouts. Get started with Hansel Onboard today by going to hansel.io and start deploying feature adoption nudges in under an hour.